Growing up, I was always more of a portable person than a home console kid. Nintendo handhelds specifically kept me engaged whether I was on the train headed to school or in bed under the covers. One of the games that I played the most during those days was Nintendogs for the Nintendo DS. I didn't have a pet of my own at the time, so getting to care for and cuddle up with a cute virtual puppy entertained me for hours on end. And now, in my adult life, I have a couple real dogs whom I spend plenty of time with. However, I still have a soft, nostalgia-filled spot in my heart for pet sims. So when I heard that little friends, dogs, and cats was coming to Switch, I knew I would be all over it. But is it actually good? Let's jump in. If you have any experience with the Nintendogs franchise, then you'll be right at home with little friends, dogs, and cats. Like in those games, you're responsible for taking care of the wants and needs of an adorable little pet of your choice. There are six different breeds of dogs to choose from, and once you get far enough into the game, you'll also unlock three cat breeds to bring into your home. While the amount of activities available to you is considerable, they tend to fall flat a few different ways. Playing with your pets is a huge part of little friends, and you can toss around balls or throw discs or chew toys either in the comfort of your virtual home or outside on the grassy training field. Unfortunately, you don't have very precise control over how you throw these toys. In docked mode, you're meant to hold down the A button and shake your Joy-Con to toss discs and balls. But I often found my throws either going not as far as I wanted them to, or simply not registering at all. In undocked mode, you just press the A button and the toys get thrown. There isn't really any finesse to it, which becomes an issue during throwing discs competitions. In these, your pet competes with two others to see who can catch the most discs in three minutes. Your dog gets bonus points for catching high flyers or far throws, but I could never consistently get those to happen. There also aren't any people present in the game, meaning it was a little off-putting seeing competing dogs catch discs thrown by basically invisible ghosts. Interacting with your pets and little friends is a little more enjoyable. You can spend quality time with them by petting or brushing them, either with the touchscreen or motion controls while docked. You can also instruct them to do tricks and they learn as your friendship meter goes up. The controls are nice, but the calibration in the Joy-Con often got messed up while I was trying to use them in docked mode. They rarely felt natural. Petting and brushing your dog is also a way to clean them, which came as a disappointment to me, because one of the most satisfying parts of Nintendogs was washing your dogs and scrubbing away at them dynamically to remove layers of dirt and mud on them. In Little Friends, Dogs, and Cats, you simply brush your dog a few times and then, upon exiting the menu, all their dirt is gone. For a game that's all about simulating life with a pet, missing details like this is a huge disservice. Thankfully, Little Friends has a wealth of customization options. These give you a variety of ways to make your pets and your home feel like your own. And as you progress through the game, you unlock a bunch of different themes, rugs, and furniture sets for your home. You can also unlock a wealth of accessories for your pets to customize their looks. Little Friends Dogs and Cats tries to be the best Nintendog sequel that Nintendo won't give us. It gets a few things right, like the variety of activities and the huge amount of customization available, but unfortunately, the lack of detail when it comes to the control options and taking care of your pets makes this an experience with very little staying power. Thanks a lot for watching, be sure to hit that subscribe button if you're interested, and maybe even that notifications bell if you're feeling generous. I'll talk to you guys later.